uh, my name is Ted Richards, I'm 57, and um, just recently I've been started doing body modification. The reason was for the years, because um, I was tormented and all that when I was at school, about my years. And then um, for years, like when I left school, I always had long hair, you know, because I was conscious of my years, because of that school. And then um, last year, when I uh, had the dreadlocks put in, then I um, had my hair tied back, but I had all the piercings in. But then um, I got to find out somebody what could actually remove them, and that was it. That's why I had them removed. And now I'm just so happy now. Best modification I've ever had. The actual main reason to have it done, oh, I could have lived with it. The main reason is because they only got little holes look for years. That's why I had it done. Because I got the, the tattoos, like a parrot. I actually have the holes, like a parrot. That's why everything's gone look. Yeah, so it looks like, it looks more like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about it? LGBTQP, oh, no, not pansexual, the way gay activists have used it, but parrot. Well, well why not? The man who wants to be a parrot, the man who believes he's a parrot, the, the man who now wants to have more surgery so that his nose can be turned into a beak. Hey, if it makes him happy, why not? If it makes him feel whole, why not? All his life, growing up as a boy, he talks about it, tormented by the presence of ears. If we just get rid of them. Now, he says the best modification he's had. He's so happy. Hey, gay activist Dan Savage has said, your body, you can do what you want with your body. If you want to amputate a limb and it makes you happy, your body. Well, of course, people are going to go in this direction. If, if it's okay to, to amputate healthy breasts and, and healthy private parts because someone is just not at home in their own body, if it's, if it's fine to do that. And, 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 hey, we just heard about a woman who blinded herself with the help of her psychologist, poured some kind of cleaning fluid into her eyes because all her life she felt something was wrong because she could see she tried to blind herself as a kid. Then with the help of her psychologist, actually did it. And now she's so happy. It's been years she's so happy being blind. Why not? Oh, friends, if this doesn't show you what's wrong in our thinking, nothing will show you. This man is not a parrot. And, and, and here, I'll prove it to you. Let him have 10,000 surgical modifications, whatever he wants, and then put him at the top of a building and throw him off. He cannot fly. He is not a parrot. He's a human being with some internal issues, some internal problems, just like the woman who blinded herself and just like Bruce Jenner and others. This should underscore why we have been saying for so long that if you start having perception is reality. If I perceive that I'm a boy in a girl's body or a girl in a, a, a boy, whatever it is, if I get the thing messed up, if I perceive I'm actually black when my body's white, if I perceive that I'm actually an elephant when I'm a human being, we don't give me elephant surgery and figure out, all right, how can I grow tusks and how can I turn this nose into a trunk and how can I get, I got to get bigger and fatter and, and change my skin color. No, no, no. We say, Mike, Mike, you're not an elephant. Bruce, you're not a woman. Sir, you're not a parrot. I've been called transphobic, homophobic, of course, transphobic. I don't know if this makes me parrot phobic or what, but friends, this is nothing we celebrate. This is a guy who has some internal issues that needs prayer and needs help, just like the woman who blinded herself and just like Bruce Jenner. That's reality.